Okay, so I'm just getting him into a frame of mind where he's a little more relaxed. Give him a little chew there, walk, walk. Now he hasn't been frightened at any stage. He hasn't had any dramas, so he's not expecting a drama. So we spent, it's our fourth day, we spent that time building up his confidence, getting him relaxed, getting him to trust me if you like. So the hardest part to overcome is the saddle and girth and that's why I've built up this confidence and trust so that now hopefully he's ready for the saddle and girth. Now it's the first time he's ever seen a saddle blanket or a saddle cloth and a, and a girth or a saddle but I haven't frightened him so he's not expecting to be frightened with it. I've sat on him bareback, I've done all that, walk him around with it. So it's new. Okay, so that's no big deal. So we don't have to flap it around or all this rubbish about desensitising means nothing, it's just rubbish. We introduce everything to him in a manner that doesn't frighten him. The saddle hasn't been near him before. We don't go up to him and say, oh, here's something to be frightened of, here, sniff this. We just go about our business with the same matter of fact. Thing. So what's got to be more important to him is the lesson, to stand and bring his head round, to walk the circle that I ask. That's what's important. The saddle isn't important. What I ask must be more important to him than the saddle, the girth, the saddle cloth. So we've built up his confidence. We don't have to get him used to the saddle. We have to introduce it to him in a manner that doesn't frighten him. And he hasn't been frightened, he's not expecting to be frightened. Okay, so he's never had a saddle anywhere near him before. No big deal. So we, again, we build up in small steps. So I just hold that. I just hold that with my hand. Hold the girth with my hand. I can make it tight if I want or I can loosen it off if I want. If I don't leave it on there and chase him around and what have you. Like everything else, if we introduce it short time, relief, take it off, give him a break. But the lesson has to be the important thing, to stand, to walk the circles. Let him have a break. He says, oh, that wasn't so bad, I can put up with that. It's no big deal. If I were just to come in here first day and put the saddle on, would have had a drama, I can guarantee it. So don't come up and say, oh, I'm frightened here, sniff this. You'll tell him, you're telling him to be frightened. Oh, you've got to get used to it. No, you say, this is the lesson. The lesson is to stand. And what we're doing here is nothing to be concerned about. Very, very simple. So when he's worried, he stands, brings his head round.
So we didn't have to get him used to the saddle. Just had to introduce it in a manner that didn't frighten him. So the lesson The lesson is the important thing, not the saddle. We've given him something else to think about. We've got his mind concentrating on other things. And we don't make an issue of the saddle. We don't flap anything around and frighten him and say he's going to get used to it. Let him stop, stand and relax. And again, we'll make that do. So he hasn't been frightened by the saddle, he hasn't bucked. The only reason any horse bucks is because he's frightened. Frightening a horse won't help him to be relaxed and confident. Frightening the horse is never the answer. He hasn't been frightened at any point, he's not expecting to be frightened. That's the first time. That's his first time with the saddle. So everything from now on hopefully is relatively easy. <laughs>